I have uh, just come, uh, I've just come back from a 60 uh, kilometer cycle in the cold. It's uh, it was a it was a good one, uh, but um, muscles are sore, tendons are sore, bits are sore, and uh, one thing I always advise for anybody is when you're doing some exercise, an ice bath is. Um, is very beneficial for you. Everyone will say that. Um, generally, buying boxes of, of ice <sighs> doesn't really work. But what I do is uh, any used water bottles I've had, um, fill them up with tap water. Uh, but don't fill them up to the top. Let them so that they've got a good bit of um, space for you to at least get some of the like pouring cold water into your bath and uh, then that definitely helps your bath get super cold. So just now my tip is cold, cold tap, again in Scotland the cold tap in winter time is a heck of a lot colder than the cold tap uh, in summertime as would the cold tap in LA be a heck of a lot warmer than the cold tap in Scotland. So, depending on where you live, it depends on the number of um, used water bottles that you've got. But yeah, if, you, if you're all like, hey, let's recycle, and you do exercise, if you drink water bottles, keep your water bottles, don't throw them in the bin, fill them halfway up with water, and uh, use them as a form of uh, rehab for after any workout to fill up with a little bit of water and just keep pouring them into the bath. And then I'll show you how to deal with getting into a freezing cold bath. I've, so I've got three frozen water bottles. Make sure that the water um, is falling on top of them. I will let that fill up. So after you have <coughs> filled your bath with um, effectively very, very cold water, it doesn't need to be freezing. Like a lot of the, the stories about um, benefits of freezing water or ice water versus cryotherapy and stuff like that. You're like, oh yeah, all it needs to be is cold enough for your body to go <gasps> contract all your um, blood vessels and get uh, blood flowing to your core rather than to your extremities and to help reduce swelling uh, you know also to get the lymphatic system to suck all its uh, all the stuff away from areas that might be swelling just now I've got a really sore knee so I really want to make sure my knee gets nice and cold so how do you get into a bath that's freezing cold without screaming sometimes you just have to scream <laughs> so that's fine uh, but sometimes if you've got neighbours next door, how do you deal with it? Well, my my tip is uh, short and sharp um, jabs for certain parts of your body um, before you go in. So I'm um, uh, again, a lot of people will talk about um, cold ice baths and uh, and cryo stuff about making their whole body cold and all that kind of stuff. If you all you've been doing is cycling, the only bit of your body that's sore that needs the um, changes in blood flow and lymphatic system workout. Is your legs. You don't need to be freezing your whole body and you only last for about five minutes. Um, I can sit in here for about half an hour just now, no problem. So what I do, quite happily leave a t-shirt on, keep my upper body uh, nice and warm. Uh, I'll just be in my underpants for uh, safety reasons. Let's just start. What I would do is just go foot. Mm. Other foot. Definitely the first time that you do this, it's, it's intense. Um, and then after you've done, so you, I'm, not, I'm not full, going in full blast. I'm just getting a, a foot in, get, get my body, like I get a pain in the back of my head. You know how you get a brain freeze? Uh, most people get a brain freeze whenever like the ice cream. I get a pain in the back of my head when I go into, when I go into a really cold bath. So get your feet in first, take them out, get your body used to that, get your body to... Um, be prepared for that shock and then then I go foot 
Fit the knee. Oh. Just go, just, just, just that. Just start with that, and then, then I'll do the other leg. Fit the knee. That's, that's good. That's good. If you're really tough, and you know, if you've done a lot of cold water therapy before in the past, it's a piece of cake. You literally just go in and you don't feel a thing. If you haven't done it before at all, this is this is probably the easiest way to get your body prepared for it. Um, but as I say, you don't need to like dunk your whole body in if you've just been out for a cycle, if you've just been out for a run. After I've done one foot at a time, I'll do I'll do both knees into the bath. That's 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 good. And then then I'll stand up again because like there's actual pain. It's not just cold, it's actually painful. Like um and, and that pain that you're feeling on my feet oh, is a good sign because what that's doing, that pain is your um Effectively, all your capillaries, your your external veins and nerves, kind of going, oh, I'm going to squeeze hard, and it's it's effectively sucking the blood away from your extremities, certainly your toes and your feet. They they will feel it, feel it most. The next bit is then getting your bum into the water. I say, I say it's absolutely fine doing it with pants on. Um, that can help some people. Uh, sometimes getting in with socks uh, as well can be absolutely fine. Um. But the, this is this is the bit. So I've got my bum. I've, no, I've got my foot. I've got my knee. Then I'm about to get my bum in. It's, certainly, if you've been cycling, um, your bum muscle is uh, a bit that needs a good bit of um, bit of coldness to help help your your muscles recover. So that's me in. Boom. So in a bath. Making sure my knee, which is quite sore, this one, um, making sure that's under the water. I don't need to get the rest of my body cold. I don't need muscle to be sucked, um, not muscle, um, blood and uh, lymphatic juice to be sucked away from my other parts of my body. It's just my legs that are sore. It's just my muscles that are sore. The muscles in my legs that are sore. Maybe I've done like a, uh, what do you call it, a, a body pump class and your whole body sore, that yeah, then you get in. Um, or if you're doing a massive run in a hot country, jumping into a cold bath to cool down your whole body and cool down your core is very, very important. But I've just been cycling in about four or five degrees Celsius for the last three hours. And uh, I don't really need my core to be cooled down. My core is cool enough. Uh, but I just want to cool down my legs, my muscles, uh, my joints, my tendons, my ligaments, um, and help reduce uh, any swelling going on. Now, when you're in here, Every time you move, <laughs> every time you move, um, it's it's really cool. Look, these these frozen water bottles have been in the bath for um, a good 15, 20 minutes, and yet still totally frozen ice cubes in here. That shows how cold Scottish water from the tap is during winter time. So somebody's like, oh, it's just cold water. It's it's effectively only a couple of degrees above freezing when even w frozen water bottles don't freeze. Um, what I would also suggest is um, you can get used to it. You can get used to it after a good, well, I've been recording for about five minutes now. Um, I like to have a coffee because you don't necessarily want to cool down your core. Um, you just want to get your blood to go to your core, to keep your core warm. So I like to have uh, a coffee. I'm just, uh, just now again, I'm having a very anti-inflammatory um, coffee. One which is um, got uh, one which has got uh, turmeric, turmeric, which is very anti-inflammatory, with black pepper uh, in there, which makes the coffee disgusting, effectively. Um, but the black pepper makes turmeric two thousand times more effective. Uh, with a, a cacao button, which has got a little bit of fat in it, which again is anti-inflammatory and also increases the turmeric's. Bioavailability by eight times. Um, there's also some ginger, which is also good for stuff. Cayenne pepper, green tea. I, I, just, I just pour in, I just effectively go into my spices cupboard and just pour all type of crap into this. Um, and then put in a bit of, uh, uh, what milk did I have? I had oat milk in there. Again, oat milk's got a little bit of fat in it, so that helps you absorb um, fat soluble 
vitamins and minerals and and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's no dairy uh, after after a long run or a cycle. But uh, yeah, cold bath. That's how to get in. Or coffee inside. You don't have to even be naked. You don't have to take your pants off. You don't even have to take your socks off. You don't have to get your full body in. If you're just wanting the benefits for your sore muscles, an ice cold bath. Recycle your frozen uh, your water bottles and uh, sit them in the fridge. And uh, then each day you've got effectively the all the requirements for an ice bath after any workout that you're doing. So yeah, recycle your bottles. Cold water from Scottish Taps, definitely the coldest. Warm coffee, just freeze down the the cold bits of your body. Ah, so now I, I, I'm effectively just going to be sitting here for the next 10-15 minutes just playing on my iPad. Well, playing, doing emails and stuff like that. But that's, that's what you need to do. There you go. Hope that helps. There's some tips of how to get into a nice cold bath without screaming too much.